Hi, Dr. Joe here. Today we're going to be talking about scoliosis and what is scoliosis. So scoliosis is a spinal issue and specifically it's curvature of the spine. So right now as you're staring at it, it's a straight spine. However, what scoliosis is, it's like an S-shaped curvature of the spine, which I will give you an example of right here. Okay, so when you're when someone's looking at themselves through an x-ray or from the back, you see kind of this presentation. It comes in very varying degrees of severity to really, really bent to just slightly bent. And there's two types. There's a structural scoliosis or a functional scoliosis, which uh, our, our job as healthcare professionals is to determine uh, what it is, which one. So a structural scoliosis is your bones are potentially misshaped or due to uh, growth in adolescence. So teenagers, as they do big growth spurts, okay, it's a structural change that's causing the cur curvature. Whereas a functional change is someone that has a lot of like muscle tension or spasm or after a car accident, something like that, where there's so much muscle tension and it's pulling your spine into position. That's functional. That one's a lot more easier to fix because once you reduce that functional limitation, you can reduce the scoliosis. Whereas structural, a little bit harder. So what to look out for? If you have a child where you see how their sh one, one shoulder can be a little bit elevated or as they're bending, you see a little bit of humping on their, on their back, okay? Uh, possible signs of some curvature changes. You have a teenager, specifically girls. Scoliosis happens um, you know, randomly to females, girls, more often. So you have a t teenager, teenage daughter, niece, uh, granddaughter, who's just randomly compla complaining of more back pain, neck pain. You need to get that checked out because their spine could be starting to curve, okay? So really, really monitor people and how their uh, uh, your children, adolescents, as I was mentioning. So monitor how they're feeling. And don't just shrug it off as like, yeah, you're fine, you slept wrong. If they continually to complain about it, there could be something underlying that's starting. And typically it starts after puberty when the child goes through uh, growth spurts and they enter their teenage years and they're getting taller, their bones are changing, muscles are changing. We start seeing more of a scoliosis happening around that time. Okay, so look out for teenagers starting to complain of, of uh, spinal pain or a teenager who really shoots up in height very quickly, okay? And those are things and people that you wanna be, uh, be looking at to monitor if they're having any curvature change. Okay, don't shrug it off, it's actually very popular. A lot of people you come in contact with may have a form of scoliosis. Like I said, it comes in very from mild to very severe. So keep an eye on that. If you have any questions, let me know.